Now I do have to be careful. See where it says first sample, that's got to be the one that I picked is going to be group one. So in my case I picked diastolic to be population one and I picked systolic to be population two. One of the worst things you can do in a computer program is put your populations in backwards. Like whatever, pick, pick one of the groups to be population one and one of the groups to be population two, but make sure you put it in the computer in that order. Now I think in the last video we did this as a 99%. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to 0.99. Just like that and I'm going to push OK. And if you notice, there we go. We, this is actually where it says mean is actually D bar. This is not the mean of one of the data sets. This is the mean of the differences. There was 80 uh, randomly selected adults. Standard deviation of the differences is right here. Here's the margin of error. And there's our numbers, very, very close to what we got by the formula in the previous video. Now the interesting thing is I was telling you is that this is really like a one population confidence interval of the differences. So let's do that really quick. Uh, if you go to statistics, confidence interval, one population mean, and then just put in the differences. Now my differences are in column three. So in Statcato you type C3 for column three and then change the confidence level of course to 99 percent and if you notice you get the same numbers see how those numbers are the same as when we did the match pair now it's probably easier just to go ahead and do the match pair but this does give you the idea that the computer is really doing a one population mean confidence interval of the differences now what if I want to bootstrap now bootstrapping uh, for stat key it do, you do have to have the differences so one thing I might mention really quick is what do I what if I don't have these differences, right? So what I what you can do is uh, just a little bit of a, a quick equation in in Excel. I just want to um, subtract the uh, diastolic minus the systolic. Well, in in Excel you just want to look at what cell that's in. This is in A two. See it's in column A row two, and this is B two. So what I'm going to type in is equals a2 minus B2 and just put it push enter and if you notice that's where we got the negative 43 now if you go ahead and just pull your cursor to that um, that little cross there in the bottom right corner when it turns into a cross you can double click on it and it'll actually apply the formula to the rest of the data set so that's how I calculated the differences in case you don't have the differences. Looks like they're already calculated right here, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this real quick. Okay? All right. So, um, okay. Actually, I'll just leave it. It's fine. All right. So, um, all right. So, let's take a look at this one. So all I need is this column. This is the column I'm going to I'm going to copy the difference column when I bootstrap. So again, I'm going back to stat key. But now I'm clicking on single mean, not sync, not not difference in means because I don't have two separate groups. I'm looking at it as a one population confidence interval of the differences. So, it's much like those one population bootstraps we've done in the past. Here's edit data. All right, let's delete out the data that's in there and paste. Now, this does not have an identifier. There's not a word next to every number. Okay, so don't check this box that says identifier. It does have a title though. You could delete out the title if you want, but this one does have a title. So I'm going to leave header row right here. Now I'm just going to push OK. There's our random sample. And there's our, our sample of the um, difference between uh, the diastolic and systolic blood pressure. Now again, a bootstrap is going to take thousands of random samples from the sample. Right? So let's do that. There it is. There's our bootstrap. Always click a thousand a bunch of times. And then we're going to click two tail. And then we're going to look at, um, again, I think uh, last video we used a 99% on this one, right? That 99. So let's change this middle percentage to 0.99. There we go. All right, negative 47.4. Wow, that's really close to what we got with the formula. Negative 
I think we got negative 41.551 by the formula. So very close. We're actually very close to what the formula did. Amazing enough, again, a bootstrap calculates a confidence interval and shows you the standard error without uh, a formula, right? This was not done with a formula. Um, Brad Efron at Stanford uh, invented bootstrapping, and um, it's a very, very um, useful technique. All right, so I think we're just about done here. Um, so we've kind of gone through how to do a two-population mean separate groups, a two-population proportion, and a two-population mean confidence interval for matched pairs. All right, everybody. Uh, so this is Matt Tuchot again with Intro Stats, and I will see you all next time.